Hello guys, Canon64 here, and today I'm going to be doing part 7 of What If Deku Was Mewtwo. If you want to know what happened last time, go watch part 6. So, last time we stopped, last time we stopped at the USJ. So, we, I mean, the whole class goes into the USJ and 13 is explaining everything. And of course, 13 is, you know, explaining how quirks could be used for evil. No one, no, everyone with the quirk is equal and all that. But of course, everyone knows people who have supposedly villain quirks, they're going to be treated like a villain. So, yeah. So, everyone's listening, but Deku, he can sense something, something, he can sense some weird dark energy coming from the middle of the USJ. And when Deku looks behind him, he sees a portal, not just one, multiple portals opening. And what he sees, he sees a bunch of villains everywhere. And Deku is like, oh shit. He's like, Aizawa, I think we have company. Aizawa's like, what are you talking about? What the? Everyone looks, and all they see is a bunch of villains. And then they hear Kirigi, I mean, not Kirigi, Shigaraki saying, well, we, he says, we're here to kill all my. <laughs> no, no. Then, of course, Kirigiri goes up there and says, I'm sorry for our intrusion, but it seems like All Might was supposed to be here. But for some reason, he is not. So, be gone with all of y'all. But before he can say anything, he can't use any of his abilities. He can't, he, he, it's like he's frozen or he can't move at all. <laughs> and everyone's like, what just happened? And they look behind, they see Deku using his kinesis saying, you know, you're not going nowhere. Ida, he was like, what is it? You're the fastest, go get the others. <laughs> what, no, Ida. Do you want to die here? Or you want to go get fucking back up? I can just, if you don't want to run, I'll just kill you here and now with all these other villains. And when uh, Ida was, uh, he grabbed Ida by the throat and threw him at the freaking door. The door bust opened and of course, Right when that happened, Bakugo and Kirishima did what they kind of did in, in the anime, freaking hitting Kirikiri and making Deku lose his, you know, losing, you know, losing concentration. Deku, you know, let go of his grip and he freaking yells at the, he yells at Bakugo and then he freaking Punches um Kirishima in the face. Y'all two are fucking idiots. He's the only one who can get those villains out of here. Y'all just let him go. Y'all call yourself heroes. All y'all do is just jump. All y'all do is jump in and ask questions later. Not even looking about what the plan is. And of course, Momo goes up there and says, well... Yeah, he is correct. And of course, Kirigiri, everyone thinks Kirigiri left, but of course the whole freaking platform gets coated in this black mist. And they all get, and of course, they all get teleported. I mean, every student gets teleported around the USJ. Well, except for Ida, because, you know, he's running to go get help. And 
Well, well, Deku gets teleported by himself. He's like, what the? Where am I? And of course, Deku goes flying around, and the f person who he sees with him, well, Deku thinks he's by himself, but the person he sees with him is like, is Green. He's like, Green, we need to get out of here. He grabs her with his kinesis, flies up, flies away, and then she said, we're getting out of here. But what about the other student? What about everyone else? Fine, I will go find them too. He drops her off at the at the at the top at the top of the building. I mean not top of the building, but the top of the the top of the stairs and left her there. Then a couple a couple minutes later, Deku had a bunch of other students put them up there and we're gonna go to somewhere else. With um Izumi explaining her the same plan like it was in the anime to um to the frog girl and Manetta. Oh yeah, her name's Sue, yeah. To Sue and Manetta. They're like and Manetta and Manetta's like, Are you sure it's gonna work? And Sue so was like I don't I think I hope it works. Yeah, and Izumi's like I I hope it works. So they did what they did in canon, and of course they get out of, you know, out of there, and then, then they see Shigaraki, and they also see the Numu, and Aizawa bloodied. Without thinking, Izumi jumps in to save Aizawa. This is something different like it did in canon, instead of, instead of Deku just freezing there, instead of, you know, instead of what Deku did in the canon, Izumi actually jumped in there to save Aizawa. And what happened was after that, the Nomu let through Aizawa and started to punch the living shit out of Izumi. Izumi tried to dodge, but of course it did not work. The Nomu is supposed to be stronger than All Might. And yeah. <clears throat> and remember, this Izumi still can't lose one for all yet that much. Because it would still break your bones. <clears throat> so, yeah. And I'm going to say it would kind of go as kind of as canon. But, of course, Shigaraki would go for Sue. Aizawa would use his quirk. So, she wouldn't get decayed. <laughs> and, yeah. But, but of course... <clears throat> Uh, of course, I was always trying to help, you know, Izumi to make sure she doesn't get killed. But of course, Aizawa breaks, gets his arm broken and thrown away like a freaking rag doll. And yeah, Aizawa can't really move, and Izumi is trying to fight for her life. Until she can't. <clears throat> she's already bleeding. She's already bleeding out. And she, when she hit the Nomu, she thought she hit him way back because her arm wasn't broken. She's like, did I, did I do it without breaking my arm? And she hears Shigaraki laughing. <clears throat> <laughs> Wow, that's surprising. You barely. <laughs> no, I know he's. No, that's surprising. You. He went back only an inch. And she looks in front of her and she sees. What the? And the Nomo hits down. And let's go to Deku's point of view. <clears throat> Deku was just talking with the others. Find out um, three. I mean, three other people are missing. <clears throat> Also, in this timeline, um, 13 is not, uh, she's not really hurt, but Aizawa's hurt worse than he was in canon. Because he's trying to save one of his students, and because one of his students are actually about to, 
die. So yeah. So when Deku hears a huge freaking explosion, he thought it was Bakugo, but when he looked, when he looked, what he saw broke him. He saw one of his friends. He says, Izumi! He freaking, without anyone even, like, one second he was there, the other second he was just gone. I was like, what is he? And Green says, tears coming from her eyes. Blood, she sees Izumi, blood, like, bloody and broken. I was always like, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Ah, Shigaraki's is just laughing his ass off because he killed one. He well, so he thinks he killed one. He killed one of the students. And yes, everyone thinks everyone thinks um she's dead. Deku gets down there. He grabs her body. She's like, e -e -e holds her tight, and like he. Everyone's surprised, even, um, like, Aizawa's surprised, the one who's always seems like he's cold shoulder, the one who seems like he doesn't care about no one, the person he cares about is dead. And this dark, this dark energy pulses out of Izuku. This black, basically like, you know how, you know how like, in like, when Sonic or when Goku goes super, and there's like that, and there's like that, um, that, that yellow, that, uh, that yellow aura surrounding them, it's kind of like that, but instead of yellow, it's black and dark. Izuku's eyes turn from red to a grayish to like a whitish gray in his hair because <clears throat> he's still in his human form. His hair turns completely black and he becomes emotionless. It's like, it's kind of like how dark Sonic is, like rage and all that. And what he does is, he's like, you bastard, I'm gonna kill all of you. I mean, all the other villains are like, holy crap, what is, right when the villains were starting to run, they were, de they were decapitated. Their heads were cut clean off. Everyone there, like, um, Aizawa saw this. He was like, what the hell? Shikaraki saw this. He's like, what? I mean, everyone... Even the students who are who are close to the door saw this. Because I'm gonna say that the entrance was basically destroyed, so it's blocked off. They saw Deku kill these villains. Well, everyone's like Green's like that's something's not right. That ore surrounding him. Can y'all not feel that? And of course everyone else is like, yeah. But of course Bakugo ain't really there. Bakugo's like, Bakugo gets there freaking, you know, you know how um, Bakugo, you know, kind of happens in Kenan with um, Bakugo and um, half and half. Crap. I don't know why I keep on forgetting his name. Tur oh yeah, Todoroki. When Todoroki and Bakugo get there, they freeze the Nomu, Bakugo explodes them. But of course, Deku grabs both of them so fast by the throat, they basically taking their life. Where the fuck were y'all? She's dead because y'all were just playing around. And Bakugo's like, "What the hell are you?" And when he see when Bakugo looks, he sees blood, and when he when he sees. Bakugo sees Izumi's 
lifeless body on the ground, blood everywhere. And Bakugo, tears falling from his eyes. Bakugo is broken. He's he De Deku drops ba throws Bakugo to the ground. You were always worthless. You're nothing but a dick to everyone, but mostly to her. <laughs> That's really surprising. <laughs> Why the fuck are you crying? And the Nomu basically charged at Deku. But of course Deku grabbed his head, twisted it, and tore it off. And then, what well, everyone was surprised, flame, well, blackish dark flames erupted into the no burning the Nomu's head in its brain completely off. And Sugar Fox like, what the hell? <sighs> and of course the Nomu's dead, but of course Deku's still gonna be punching the body over and over and over and over where it's completely turned to ash, where it's completely dismantled, destroyed. And when Deku does punch, there's this weird black flaming aura on his, all over his whole body, and of course, he did throw, um, you know, half and half, he did throw him on the ground, um, crap, what's his name, uh, whatever, I don't know why he, went, well, I don't know what, that's the only character, or well, one of the most characters, why well, I always forget his name, oh yeah, Todoroki, yeah, well, it's basically what if, not what if, it's basically like he throws Todoroki to the ground, too, and he's just punching, destroying the Nomu, even when the Nomu is dead. He's just, just getting all that anger out, blaming all these villains, killing every villain there. It's like a, it's like a, it's like, it's basically like, it's kind of like a ca carnage. This, it's like it's it's like Carnage has just gone a freaking bloodbath. Dead bo dead villains everywhere, and Deku was about to kill Shigaraki until Kirigiri got in the way, teleported them out of there. And but before that, Deku did get a slice on. Um, not Kirigiri, it's Shigaraki. He did kind of cut Shigaraki really, really badly before he, before they, before he teleported, before he got teleported. <sighs> and what happened is the heroes, then the heroes get there and then they see what All my sees is death. You can sense it everywhere. Dead bodies everywhere. You can see the students upset. And when he goes down there, he sees Izumi, his successor, dead. Well, what he thinks is dead. <laughs> no, she's dead. Okay. Dead. Well, well, she's dead, but at the same time, she's not dead. She's barely clinging to life and of course Deku turns around sees All Might touching Izumi he sees her he sees Bada pick her up and he says leave her alone charges at All Might punches him over and over and over in the in the in the stomach over and over and almost oh, like Ugh! Then one more punch flings All Might all the way really far. And when everyone sees this, they're like, Bakugo. I mean, every, every student there just saw Deku punch All Might so hard it made him fling back all the way to the, all the way to where the stairs, 
where the stairs start. And cause they're like, they're really far away from the stairs. And everyone's like, did that kid? No, the heroes are like, did that kid just punch him on so hard? He, he just, <sighs> and this dark energy is going out of control. It's like, nah. Izumi, Izumi, Izumi. He's just screaming her name over and over and over because, dude, he kind of went berserk. He, he lost it. The person who he cares for, well, what he, he tried not to care because everyone who he cares about always dies or always gets killed because of him. That's what he thinks. Like, he... And of course, tears are coming from his eyes. He's like, no. And then lightning is coming from his body over and over and over. <laughs> He's like, yeah. but of course, back with back at the back with the League of Villains. All my all for ones like, what was that, Shigaraki? Someone destroyed the Nomu. And when Shigar when Shigaraki explains. What this boy looked like in his red eyes with the green hair. All for one was like, it's him. <laughs> oh, it's him. And Chigaraku was like, what do you mean him? <laughs> Remember the creature what I told you about what I created years ago? And then it destroyed the base. You mean, yes. It seems like he has taken a human form. And when you killed that girl, he went, he went on a rampage. Didn't that what you said? Yes. It's like he went on a carnage. It's like he became carnage. He killed everything in its path. So, it seems like the plan, it seems like my plan did not fail, but the quirks did not work. But, at least, well, at least something came out of it. <laughs> I want you to go back. What? I'm not going back there. <laughs> I want you to grab the girl. Why? And he tells Shigaraki a plan, and he goes back. He teleports right in front of Izumi. He grabs her with with four of his fingers, holding holding his pinky outwards, where he's not touching her. He says, ah, and he calls Deku Mewtwo. Mewtwo! And everyone's like, Mewtwo? What the? If you want the girl alive, come with me. <laughs> and of course, Shigaraki, Shigaraki's hoping this plan works, but of course, Shigaraki, but of course, all for one did not realize something was going to go completely, completely wrong. Deku teleported right in front of Shigaraki, stabbing him. Through his chest. <laughs> Killing him. What the? You are dead. And also, if you know my name, that means you work for all for one. And of course, he's saying, he's whispering this to um, Shigaraki's, um, He's whispering this, and of course, Kirigiri does appear, and he, and of course, he, what he says to, what he says to Shigaraki, Shigaraki's eyes wide open in fear. Don't worry, you're not gonna die, not yet. Throw Shigaraki into the freaking portal, and of course, blood did fling everywhere. 
And when the heroes saw this, they're like, what the hell? And All Might did, when All Might heard the name Mewtwo, and when he saw Shigaraki say that to Deku, he wasn't thinking. He kind of just went at it. Because when he thought that, because he, he was like, Arr! well, no, let me redo this. Deku is still out of control. He's kind of still on a rampage. And, dude, all the heroes are trying to calm him down, but that's not working. They're getting the living shit beat out of them. And, of course, you know, they do have to call back up, so Endeavor gets there. Endeavor tries to freaking do his flames. Does not work. Endeavor got his shit slapped. And everyone has seen this kid who went on a freaking psychotic rampage. And supposedly quirkless, even when it looks like he's not quirkless, Eraserhead is too bad up to even use his, you know, quirk. And so, yeah. Deku. And, and of course, then he hears a voice. He said, Arr! He hears Izumi's voice. He's like, D <laughs> when he heard that voice, all I was like, calm down. Deku, calm yourself down. And when, well, Deku, when he heard Izumi's voice, his hair t was turning back to normal, his eyes were turning back to red. He went in there so freaking fast. All my even felt a wind, a wind, basically felt a wind pressure. It kind of, you know, flew him back a little bit. He's like, what the? Izumi, are you okay? I'm fine. He grabbed her, he held her tight, and he was like, I'm glad you're fine. I didn't want to lose anyone close to me. I didn't want ever that to happen again. Holding her tight, and yeah. So that's, so a couple hours have passed, the vi of course, the police get there, well the police were already there, and of course they have to put, um, they were gonna put Deku in, you know, cuffs, because he kinda, on, he went on a psychotic rampage, he killed villains there, and yeah, they, everyone was confused. All the heroes, like, of course, they had to call back up just for Deku. They had to call more back up. Like, they had to call every hero in the personality. Like, all the all the pros couldn't even touch Deku. For some reason, this kid was so freaking powerful. Not even All Might can stand up to this kid. Because even All Might had trouble hitting Deku. But he wasn't even in control. Like, dude, I mean, like, everyone's like, this kid was, like, using his instincts. Like, was using psychotic instincts just to beat everyone. This kid wasn't even in a good state. And, of course, all the heroes are like, this kid wasn't even in a good state. And all that. And, of course, they're back at, all the heroes are at UA. And they are trying to think about, like, how the villains got there. And then one hero, I'm going to say Best Gina says, So tell us, who the heck is this kid named Deku? There's no, f I've already looked into it. There's nothing about that kid. It was like the kid was never born at all. But somehow he can take, a, he can take the number one and number two hero easily without, and he was only in a sec, he was, not even in a good state. Hmm. Nezu was thinking, I don't know. But somehow, the boy, I'm glad the boy is on our side. Because, but for some reason, what, what, what I want to know is, why did that villain call young, young Deku Mewtwo? And all the heroes are like, wait, Mewtwo? Yes. Did you not hear what, what the villain said. The villain, and of course, as I was, 
Well, of course, as I was in the hospital, he's the only one who was in the hospital. And yeah, all the heroes are trying to think, why would a villain called Deku, a student at UA, um, the name of a creature, a monster, what was so-called created to destroy mankind with a with a instant. With well, they say he can destroy mankind with just a snap of his finger, but of course that's not completely true. So yeah. They're trying to think and Izumi's in the hospital. <laughs> her parents are there and well, of course her parents Well, you see Izumi's parents are there, her mother and her father are worried about her. But of course they like they want to um they want to get their daughter out of freaking, you know, UA because she doesn't want to get out of there. She's like, Mom, I don't wanna leave. There's someone there I I wanna protect. And of course his her father is like, wait. Is it that same kid you like when you was in middle school? That Deku kid? <clears throat> Her face goes red and she hides under the covers. And of course, Mew comes out and says, Hey! And basically hugs um, Izumi's cheek. Because, you know, Mew is very small. And all that. She's like, oh, hey Mew. And so, yeah. Well, you know, her parents tell her to get rest. They're going to be outside. And Mew was, you know, Mew. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to say um, Mew ate some cheese. Why not? And, yeah, Miyu ate some cheese and just stayed there with Izumi. So, yeah. So, we're going to stop it here, guys. Well, before we do that, someone on a rooftop looking at the hospital. I'm glad she's okay, but I'm worried. Somehow that villain knew who I was. Now he knows I went ballistic. Why did I go ballistic? That girl. She must have some. She must have something on me. No, because why do I feel like this? Why am I even on this rooftop? Just to protect her to make sure no one comes in. No villain comes in. And says, well, <laughs> hey Deku. <laughs> Green, what are you doing? Oh, look, look, he, you're trying to, what, are you trying to watch over Izumi? <clears throat> Shut up. Just a minute, you have a thing for her. I don't, she's just my friend. Okay. Maybe you'd say, but hey, my mom is worried because you've been here for a couple of days. You haven't been home. I'll go home when she's not in the hospital. Okay, whatever. I'm going home. Okay. Hasta la vista. You zoom me. See you later. Don't forget, I'm here. Don't forget. And that's what we're going to be leaving it off, guys. So see y'all guys in the next episode.